What's going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to some more My Hero Academia. It has been a while, guys, so I hope you guys are not stringing out too much, waiting on my reactions, but we're here. We're here. We are here. And I have to say, thank you guys so much for being patient, man. Um, This week, this week, because I'm recording this on Saturday, um, so I'm going to try to pump out as much reactions as I can. Um, next week is not going to be so busy for me. I made sure I put myself on a very, very strict schedule so that I can, because this week, practically, I think it's like four nights out of the week, I got home at 2 a.m. in the morning, okay? Like, literally, like, I, <laughs> it's crazy, okay? Like, I'm, I'm leaving home early in the morning, and I'm getting home really late, okay? So, busy, busy, busy time. It's getting down to that holiday season, so um, this is a first for me. This is a this is definitely a first for me because I've never been this um I've never been this busy during this time before but I don't know what is going on this year things are just kind of picking up and good and, and that's good business is good right um also want to let you guys know got my first check from YouTube finally <laughs> after after a year of putting up videos I've been eligible for 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 um. For payment from YouTube so it took me pretty much probably around eight I want to say about eight months or so to make a hundred dollars because you have to make a hundred dollars for them to send you any send you your first um, check or direct deposit whatever um, so yes I do want you guys to do that because you guys are a big part of the community and stuff like that um, over here on Terabyte React. So I do want to let you guys know that I did get the first whatever payment from YouTube. How long is it going to take me to make another $100? Who knows? <laughs> but anyways, they sent it to me. And I have to say, it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? It's 100 bucks. It helps. Okay? Um, shout out to all you guys over on Patreon. Also, man. Um... Everything, money is always help. You know what I'm saying? So I'm not going to sit here and make you, got, you know, make it seem like, oh, it doesn't matter or whatever. It does matter because it's money. It helps. Buy myself a cup of coffee, right? So I um, do want to let you guys know that off bat before we jump into these reactions. But anyways, man, let's review what's been happening in My Hero Academia. I am loving, I am loving this anime right now. Um, just... I wish I could pump out three, four episodes of this um, at a time. But also, you know, also I do not want to rush through this anime. And the reason why I don't want to rush through it, because I know I need to catch up because I think season four just started or some shit. I don't know. I, I think something like that. But anyways, um, but anyways, I do not want to rush through this anime. And the reason why I don't is because I realize that this is one of the anime that's probably going to make me cry. At some point, I, I just feel it because the OST, it just has that feeling. It reminds me so much of Naruto's OSTs where they play and you just you just can't avoid. You can't tell the tears to stop flowing. You know what I'm saying? So in the last episode we watched, we saw Deku got it, ac accepted. He passed the entrance exam, um, both written and practical um, as I said before, there was, there had to be some sort of hidden thing because, you know, I would have loved to see where they was going to bring this story to if he didn't pass. Like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, where was this story going to go if he didn't pass anyways, right? So, um, it would have been interesting to see how they, how they would have done that. Um, because it's not like I've never seen it done before in anything that I've watched, but it would have been interesting to see how they tackled that. But he got in. Um, he got in based, based on the, um, what they call it? Rescue points. I think they call it rescue points. So if somebody was in danger, just so happens that Deku was in that situation. <laughs> but anyways, um, I'm loving, I'm, I'm loving it, but he broke every bone in his body though. <laughs> Pretty much like he is like, he broke his, his hand broke. I think he only had one hand. I think his left hand. I think his left hand, both his legs were broken. 
I was like, man, he really got to get used to um, one for all's power. He really does have to get used to that. So we also learn that All Might is going to be teaching at UA. So we'll we'll we, we, we let's get into it, man. I'm gonna try to do three episodes for you guys today. But if you only get two, be satisfied, please. Be satisfied. I'm gonna try. As I said, strict schedule next week, so you will definitely get some more episodes next week. Okay. I made sure I made a schedule because usually. I'm on a schedule, but it's extremely flexible. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because it's business. You never know what could pop up. But next week, I have myself on a strict schedule. I let um, my assistant, I let her know, okay, I don't want nothing to come up. Because I need everything got to work under this umbrella. Everything got to work on this umbrella. I can't be paying more attention to one thing more than this other thing or something like that. So I made sure that I carved time out to do my reactions. So there's still gonna be a couple of days that I'm going to be out um, till late because for some reason people are setting late meetings with me like you know in the evening time and those meetings can go on for three, four hours. You know what I'm saying? Because we're planning for the the, um, for the holiday season and, you know, things that are popping up that, you know, that is new to us, situations arise that we have to deal with. So let's do this. See you guys for the review. What's going on, guys? Welcome back. Welcome back. Just finished watching episode five through seven, three episodes of My Hero Academia. And I'm saying, man, I am hooked. I am hooked. I think there's only like five episodes left in the first season right now, man. And it's looking good. It's looking good, man. I like it. I like where the story is heading. I'm glad that we're getting to see Bakugo and also Deku grow up. Uraraka, Hida, you know what I'm saying? Um, We're seeing them grow up. You get what I'm saying? These kids, they don't know the the um the the um not the source the um the strength of their own power you know what i'm saying like so to see them through from from episode five where they did you know with aizawa i think the teacher's name is kind of tricked them into kind of believing in themselves you know what i'm saying that they could do let them go all out trick them into going all out because maybe they think they could have just skated by and not really go all out to stay in the school uh, but then it was revealed that Isaiah was like, listen, if he didn't have any potential, I would have cut him for real. But I just said that to make everybody feel good. So cool stuff, man. So um, suits, um, all of them look really good. All of them look really good. Not particularly liking Deku's suit, but it might grow on me. I don't like the ears. Like we could have done without the ears. You know what I'm saying? Because it's... it's um, it was made by his mom, so that was pretty cool. You know, um, his mom saw it and made it for him. So that's that's even, like, more art woman. That's why I say that dude's such a good job of storytelling. Um, and to also keep his mom relevant in the story, which is which I think is going to probably play out some way, somehow, in the upcoming seasons or episodes that we're going to watch. Um you know, to come full circle again around to his mom. It's kind of like, it reminds me of the relationship between Ippo and his mom. That's what that relationship reminds me of. Because um, I remember how, um, it, it's not the same. It's not the same relationship, but it just reminds me of that relationship. Because I remember, you know, Ippo never wanted to pursue his dreams or he thought he would never get to pursue his dreams because he had to like be so concerned about the mom about his mom and the business because he wasn't going to be there anymore to help his mom with the business with the fishing business the fishing boat rental place that they have and you know it just kind of reminds me of that relationship how pure it is and i remember at one point um ipo's mom was telling him listen you gotta pursue your dreams no matter what you know what I'm saying? No matter what, don't worry about me. Pursue your dreams. I'd be more happy to see you happy. You get what I'm saying? So 
if you're sad and you're moping around and you can't get to pursue your dream, which is you have grown to love boxing, like why would I want to take that away from you and let you come help me with the business, which is something that a lot of parents do to their kids. I'm telling you this because this is something that happens in the black community a lot. And also in, in, in other communities too, I know it happens, but in the black community is very prevalent that you know, parents kind of force their kids to do certain things these days. It's not more so back in the day, but like these days, you have a lot of black parents that force their kids into into things that they don't, they don't really push them towards their dreams as much as like, oh, we have a family business, you have to continue the business. Um, so you're kind of forced into that. Um, I'm talking about this based on experience. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. But from my experience and from what I've experienced and the people that I am around, I see it happen a lot. The statistics might might not be <laughs> in it, how I'm s putting it out there, but it, you know what I'm saying? From what I've experienced, it happens a lot around me and what from what I've seen. And it leads to kids rebelling a lot. So I don't like seeing it. You must all, I think parents should always support what their kids are doing. Yes, your kids may change their mind about a lot of stuff, but if they say this is what they want to do, 100%, 150% behind it, man, because trust me, um, that's how they're going to figure out who they are. That's how they're going to figure out who they are. And it'll show you who your kids are too. You get what I'm saying? Um, you know, so I love that relationship. I love that relationship. Um, um, I love the fact that he put a spin on, it, it, it's always good to turn something negative into posi in, into a positive. You get what I'm saying? So the name Deku, he tur turned it from a negative into a positive. So that's cool. I like that. I like when, when people are calling you stuff, you must, you know, more, most of the times, oh, you know what I'm saying? Instead of lashing out, you could turn that negative into a positive. Prove them wrong. Somebody call you fat, lose weight. Prove them that you can do it, man. You know what I'm saying? You, you know what I mean? Like... You know, I'm not saying the person has a right to call you fat. All I'm saying is um, lose weight, prove them wrong. That's all I'm saying. So when it comes on to um, the overall story and how it's continuing, I love it. I love the fact that they're kind of showing more of All Might and stuff like that. Him being the examiner for the second part um, of the, you know, of this combat training that you're doing. And finally get to see, like, Deku is not backing down. And I love that about his character that he's grown so much from this timid person that they show when he was a kid to this really, really confident person in moments. He has his moments. So I love that, man. So thank you guys so much for tuning in. I don't have much more to say um, about this. Man. This was an excellent three episode stress that we just watched. Again, I apologize to you guys for the late uploads, man. This week was so busy for me. You have no idea. And I'm tired of telling you guys that I'm busy. So that's why I didn't even put on a community post. But I did tell them over on Discord. Those of you guys that are over there. I did tell them that I'm super busy. And that I won't be able to get to any reactions until the weekend. So here we are. So thank you guys so much. And as I said, man. Always remember. You know what I'm saying? Always remember. Gratitude. Is never enough okay keep saying thank you to, to everybody around you man even when they a sad piece of crap <laughs> tell them thank you thank you so much <laughs> you know what i'm saying even in this, <laughs> gratitude is never enough anyways don't listen to me man. i'm good anyways thank you guys so much for tuning in remember to like the video leave a comment in the comment section also subscribe if you're new and i will see you guys for the next one man